टूडे एग्रोनॉमी क्लास टू इंपैक्ट ऑफ हाई यील्डिंग एंड शार्ट ड्यूरेशन वेराइटीज ऑन शिफ्ट इन क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न डेफिनेशन क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न मीन दि प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ एरिया अंडर डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स एट ए पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम चेंजेस इन दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओवर टाइम एंड फैक्टर्स डिटर्मिंग दीज चेंजेस हाई यील्डिंग वेरइटी फॉर फूड सेक्यूरी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंप्रूव सीड्स एंड एस्पेषली हई यील्डिंग वेरइटी ऑफ सीड्स इज एनकज ऑन दि फॉर्म्स ऑफ दि सेंटर एंड दि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड सेवरल अदर रिसर्च इंस्टिट्यूट्स High yielding varieties of agriculture crops are usually characterized by a combination of the following traits in contrast to the conventional varieties: higher crop yield per area hectare, roughness, improved response to fertilizers, high reliance on irrigation and fertilizers, c intensive farming, early maturation, high yielding variety seeds or seeds are of better quality than the normal quality seeds. the produce from these seeds is a bit more compared to the normal ones these seeds are a better option of seeds in order to obtain a healthy and surplus crops these seeds have good immune system to fight with insects and other diseases another good feature of these seeds is their needs very less irrigation care these seeds play a very prominent role in the introduction of green revolution of india most important High yield varieties can be found among wheat, corn, soybean, rice, potato, and cotton. They are heavily used in commercial and plantation farms. While in selective regions of the country, maximum varieties of wheat like Lerma Rojo 64A and Sonara 64 were directly introduced in India. Advantages and disadvantages of high yield variety seeds. Advantages: starvation and famine have been reduced. High yield variety crops are shorter, so more able to withstand high winds and highly rain. More food is grown on an area of land, which increases farmers' profit. Disadvantage: High yield variety crops are a lot of fertilizers and pesticides to grow, which increases cost and pollution. High yield variety crops require a more reliable source of water. Irrigation increases cost. the poorest farmers have been unable to buy high yield variety seeds so they are of no benefit to them impacts of short duration and long duration varieties on deterioration of soil health soil health has been defined as the capacity of the soil to function as a living system healthy soils maintain a diverse community of soil organisms that help to control plant disease insects and weed pests form by beneficial symbiotic association with plant roots recycle essential plant nutrients improve soil structure with positive repercussions for soil water and nutrient holding capacity and ultimately improve crop production and scientific cultivation methods short duration and long duration varieties lead to salinization alkalinization formation of rh kellar etc poorly managed irrigation in long duration varieties causes water logging and salt build up that can turn fertile fields into a wasteland short duration and long duration varieties lead to tox- toxication of soil from unwanted chemicals due to excessive use of fertilizers short duration and long duration varieties lead to the large scale deforestation especially in punjab terai and babar regions where forests were cleared for agriculture purposes Short duration and long duration varieties also lead to disruption in agriculture eco- ecology by crop monoculture. Example due to crop monoculture of wheat many people say India has only wheat revolution. Use of pesticides fertilizer weeds lead to soil health deterioration. Continuous cropping long duration varieties can cause crop yield reduction, soil borne plant pathogen accumulation and soil microbial community disruption. some short duration varieties of rice are used for double and triple cropping takes soil nutrient excessively and exhaust soil nutrient level and deteriorate soil health long duration crops may deteriorate soil health by disturbing its structure as there is continuous use of similar fertilizer pesticides herbicides etc the cropping pattern in india underwent several changes with the advent of modern agriculture technology especially during the period of the green revolution in the late 60s and early 70s with the introduction of high yielding and short duration varieties the crop pattern changes however or the outcome of the interactive of many factors 
which can be broadly characterized categorized into following resource related factors covering irrigation rainfall and soil fertility technology related factors covering not only seed fertilizer water technology but also those related to marketing storage and processing household related technology factors covering food and fodder self sufficient requirements as well as investment capacity price related factors covering output and input prices as well as trade policies and other economic policies that affect the these prices either directly or indirectly institutional and infrastructure related factors covering farm size and tenancy arrangement research extension and marketing systems and government regulatory policies first two impacts the the trends in the land use pattern and cropping pattern over the last 50 years in india have shown increasing use of land for purpose of cultivation with slight variation the higher cultivation area green revolution green revolution refers to multiple growth in crop production in third world countries based on the use of modern inputs technologies highly varieties farm mechanizations and irrigation facilities the green revolution within india led to an increase in agriculture production especially in haryana punjab and uttar pradesh major milestones in this undertaking were the de- were the development of high yielding varieties of seeds of wheat and rust resistant strains of wheat in 1961 ms swaminathan invented norman who suggested a similar revolution in indian agriculture green revolution was introduced with the intensive agriculture district program IADP on an experimental basis. In 1965-66, the Hailing Variety Program was started, which is the starting point of the Green Revolution in India. Basis of Green Revolution, Hailing Varieties. They, these are the genetically modified seeds which can yield two to three times more than the normal crop. They are draft variety with dense canopy and needs greater amount of water use of chemical fertilizer production from pests and weeds as it is very tender and fragile it also required on farm activities like soil preparation it has short generation period and leads to greater production in short period of time the short duration of growth leads to the use of land for next crop thus leading to increase in cropping intensity irrigation facilities the net irrigated area in 1960 was only 30 million hectares and it was daunting task to extend irrigation to rest of India. Green Revolution required a great network of rural credit and microfinancing for supporting the needs of farmers. Commercialization of agriculture. Introduction of minimum support prices for crops gave farmers extra reason to grow more crops. Farm mechanization. It was required for increasing the crop production. Common Area Development Program CADP. CADP was introduced in 1974. It consists of two methods. On-farm development activities. It includes construction of agriculture channels, ploughing, leveling, budding, etc. Off-farm development activities. It includes construction of roads, rural connectivity, marketing, transportation, communications, etc. Use of chemical fertilizers. India soil is uh, deficient in nitrogen so NPK fertilizers were used with standard ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1 but the actual ratio used was 3 is to 8 is to 1 use of insecticides pesticides weedicides ruler electri- electrification it was the precondition for increasing farm mechanization practices land holding and land reforms land holding refers to consolidation of land and land reforms involves various steps such as abolition of intermediaries, abolition of jamandaris, tenancy reforms, etc. The food production in 1950-51 were merely 25 million tons and it was 33 million tons in 1965-66. to 66. In 1980, it jumped to 100 million tons which was three times increase in the span of 10 years. It was more centralized towards wheat production which was increased by 2.5 times in 5 years. This was termed as Green Revolution. This provided India with the self-sufficiency in food grain production and the incidence of malnutrition, famine, poverty, starvation were mitigated. India was successful in coming out of the gimbal image. Advantages of Green Revolution Green Revolution was 
pertinent for a country with perennial food crisis and population explosion. Green Revolution lead to the removal of hunger and famine. Green Revolution gave rise to capitalistic farming practices in India. Surplus was generated in agriculture which lead to its commercialization. Green Revolution leads to the development of rural infrastructure which are was a precondition to Green Revolution. Green Revolution made India self-sufficient in food grains. Financial burden due to agriculture imports were reduced which could now be channelized into various poverty elevation programs. Example, Backward Area Development Programs, IRDP, Tribal Area Development Program, etc. Increase in wage rate lead to availability of cash crop to the farmers. Development of agro-processing industries, food processing industry lead to industrialization of tier 1 and 3 towns uh, it lead to high rate of urbanization population increase during 60s 80s required higher food supply which was only possible by green revolution the population increase from 33 crores to 66 within a gap of 25 years green revolution lead to the mechanization of agriculture land reform solidization of land holding etc was done in green revolution areas forward and backward linkages of agriculture with increases with the industries got strengthened forward linkages mean supply of raw material to industry backward linkage refers to the demand of raw material from industry repercussions of green revolution the govern the environment ecology soil land water of northwestern india have been negatively affected by the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides etc thus green revolution was neither futuristic nor visionary and was unsustainable economic repercussions interpersonal disparity emerged which lead to the differences between people due to differences in ending at different places interregional disparity emerged due to the difference in crop production example west up versus east up interstate disparity emerged for example in 1960 punjab and bihar both states contributed same in terms of crop production but due to green revolution there became a huge gap in crop production between the two states in 1990 due to increase in informal credit services labor and cultivators got into a viscous cycle of depth trap social repercussion increased rural landlessness smaller marginal farmers were rendered landless and become agriculture laborers which led to rural handicapness and health hazards greater unemployment due to mechanization patriarchy was strengthened female discrimination female feticide dowry increased ecological repercussions soil degradation due to unscientific methods of farming leads to salinization alkalization formation of rh and killer excessive use of irrigation has led to the issue of water logging in green revolution areas uh, green revolution uh, led to toxification of soil from unwanted chemicals due to excessive use of fertilizers green revolution led to the increase of increase in water pollution degrading the quality of water in rivers tanks and reservoirs eutrophication it is the enrichment of one element or nutrient resulting in boom of certain species specific plants example the excessive nitrogen in tanks ponds leading to boom of water hence hyacinth due to eutrophication natural ecosystem die example the excessive growth of water hyacinth plant kills the pond ecosystem since sun rays oxygenation becomes less in the lower water layers green revolution led to the large scale deforestation especially in punjab tara barwar regions which forests were cleared for agriculture purposes green revolution also led to the disruption in agriculture ecology by crop monoculture example due to the crop monoculture of it many people say india has only wheat revolution use of pesticides fertilizers weedicides impact of high yield and short duration varieties on shifts in cropping patterns in agroclimatic regions cropping pattern in india is determined mainly by rainfall climate temperature and soil type technology also plays a pivotal role in determining crop pattern example the adoption of high yield varieties and short duration seeds along with fertilizers in the mid 1960s in the regions of punjab haryana and western uttar pradesh 
increased wheat production significantly. In the Himalayan regions, the proportion of farmers who are cultivating fruits and vegetables and sugar has increased due to high yielding and short duration varieties to way to while the proportion of farmers who are engaged in cultivation of cereals pulse has declined. In all gangetic regions, the proportion of farmers who are cultivating cereal pulse and sugar have declined. However, fruits and vegetable cultivation have increased in lower and upper gangetic region. Besides this region, in all plateau region, the proportion of farmers who are cultivating cereal pulpers, pulses and uh, fruits and vegetables have declined and expect Except the southern plateau region, the proportion of farmers who are cultivating oil seeds have increased during 2002 to 2003 and 2012 to 2013. In the east coast region, cultivation of cereals, pulses, sugar, and oil seeds have incre- decreased while fruits and vegetables spice have increased. In the western Ghat region, there is increase in the proportion of farmers who are engaged in the cultivation of cereals and spice. Apart from these uh, regions, cultivation of cereals as well as fruits and vegetables in Gujarat has declined while well, pulses, oil seeds and fiber production has increased. In dry region, cultivation of oil seed has increased. Broadly, it is observed that the proportion of farmers who are engaged in cultivation of cereals pulses in all agroclimatic regions of India has declined which shows that farmers are increasingly moving towards cultivation of cash commercial crops for cultivation of traditional non from the cultivation of traditional non cash non commercial crops physiological effect of low temperature on seed germination low temperature is a limiting factor of seed germination and plant growth low temperature also increased mortality percentage which com- when compared with control plants grown at 25 degrees centigrade low temperature treatment significantly reduced length and fresh or dry weight of shoots and roots in the two occasions after 29 days of exposure to 5 degrees centigrade. Low temperature is a major abiotic stress that limits the growth, productivity and geographical distribution of agricultural crops and can lead to significant crop loss. To cope with low temperature, plants have evolved a variety of efficient mechanisms that allow them to adapt to the adverse conditions. This adaptive process involves several biochemical and physiological changes including increased level of proline, soluble sugars and MDA as well as enzyme activities. To cold stress leads to complex cellular and biochemical changes such as altered membrane composition and accumulation of proline as well as activities of antioxidant enzymes chlorophyll content gain decreased germination germinating seeds of many species especially those of tropical or subtropical origin suffer chilling injury when exposed to low but not freezing temperatures resulting in poor seed seedling establishment and reduction in yield the severity of the injury depends upon several factors such as the species or the cultivars involved, the initial water content of the seed, the temperature temperature to which seed is exposed, the duration of chilling exposure, and the period during the course of germination when the chilling exposure takes place. The period of inhibition by seeds imbibition by the seeds is the period of sensitivity to the stresses but especially to chilling temperatures. Imbibitional chilling injury is defined as sensitivity to a combination of low seed water content and imbibition at cold temperatures. Thank you.